Alright guys, welcome back to the next part of our basic survival game tutorial series and in this part we will continue with our inventory system. So let's jump into our uh, item struct and add a new variable called mesh. And this will be a static mesh. And make sure to select the actual static mesh and not static mesh component or static mesh actor. And this mesh would be uh, the actual item mesh which we can see in the world and interact with. Um, Alright, so save, let's well pick cube as the default value and close it and in here we now have uh, this new and we now have this new uh, mesh entry and let's say I want for uh, wood to use uh, this mesh. All right. Um, what we could do is to rename the rows in here. This would be better for the performance, but it would be just a whole bunch of work for us. Um, if we have, well, 200 items, we would need to rename 200 rows. So I don't do this. I will write an uh, algorithm for that. And well, I am now switch into our content folder and in here open up our actor components and create a new component, actor component, and let's call it inventory component. All right, um, we can open it up now and save. But what I want to do is to switch back into our inventory system because I forgot to add something. Um, yeah, I'd like to add a new struct. S, where do we have it? Struct, struct, struct here. Call it S underscore inf item and open it up. Give it a name. Well, okay. String. And we want to add a new variable called um, amount. And this will be an integer. Okay. And the default value is 1. And this default value is item. <coughs> All right, now add a new variable called inventory. And the variable type is an inf item. So let's type in s underscore inf item, all right. And we want to have an array of that. Okay. And now if you want to uh, give the player some uh, starter items, this would be the place to do it. Um, you would simply need to add a new element and in here type in the name of the item and the amount but we don't uh, want to give him a starter item, so I will clear it again. All right, and now we need a few functions. Uh, function number one is at item. Um, and in here we, yeah, we would need to add a string as an input called a name and an integer called amount. Okay, and now remove item and same things in here, well, alright, uh, integer amount and a new string, alright, and let's call the string name again. Okay, compile and let's uh, switch the places all right and now we need a new uh, function called has item and in here well okay just delete it and um, just duplicate this one with control w and let's call it has item this gives us uh, these two inputs directly and we don't need to uh, create them again um, all right, and I think this should be it for now. Um, well, of course, we could add drop item with a string called name. Okay, please make sure that every item name is just used uh, once and that you don't have, uh, well, two entries with the same name in here because this would result in errors. Um, all right, let's start with add item. 
and this is fairly simple we first of all well need to create an inf item out of that um, ah well I think we can do this later on um, and we should add with has item so just get our inventory drag it in here and lose a for loop all right execute and let's break this one okay and now we want to see if this name is equals this name I think it's better to use um, equals case insensitive uh, well in here equal case insensitive um, all right and if that's the case and if this amount is greater or equal to amount we want to return well if that's the case we want to return a uh, true return and for that we would need an um, boolean output boolean um, has item so this is true and if we looped through our um, array and we don't have this item or we have this item and uh, the amount does not fit and um, we want to return false all right so this should work for now this helps us creating our um, add item function so just get has item and let's make it a pure function so has item if well if that's the case if he has one of it at least um, then or let's say if he hasn't if he hasn't one of it uh, let's get our inventory and say um, and say add and we want to add a new inventory item struct so make as uh, inf item and get this name and this amount it looks a little bit messy um, all right okay and this should work but if a player uh, but if a player inventory actually contains this item um, in here we would need to add this amount to it so for that we need another function called get item and we need an input string and let's call it name again we can copy uh, this function body from here and paste it into a uh, get item well okay our output should be a item struct um, or to be more to be more specific an inf item struct inf item struct all right compile save and in here we would return nothing that's fine we don't need to check the amount we uh, just need to check if we have this item and if that's the case let's return um well okay we can build it again uh, so return and let's build a struct build or make struct and just get the name and the amount and this is a little bit messy too <laughs> um well all right compile and go to add item okay and if we has this item at least uh, once we want to get his item instance and we want to make this pure too and let's get the name and well if that's the case um and here in get item we actually need in uh we actually need a new output, a new parameter, integer, and let's call this one index. And we want to return this index too. All right, add item in here, let's get our item and make sure to make this pure. Get this name and get our inventory. 
and say set array element or write this index break the struct and make the struct and let's add um, this amount from here all right uh, let's say add uh, I've done this with uh, control and left click by the way just get this pin and drag it uh, into here and amount and connect it to this amount and connect uh, both of those uh, names okay and this should be it for adding our item we can check if we has an item then we can get this item and we can add a new item and I think this should be it for this tutorial. In the next part we want to remove this item and so on and so on. And then finally we want to create a new widget for our game which displays this inventory. Um, Alright, see you then, bye!